Welcome to Burger Clown. May I take your order, please? Uh, yeah. I would like to order 47 quadruple cheeseburgers. All of them with extra cheeseburger. And 63 orders of conspiracy fries. Lots of conspiracy on them. Uh, 23 extra large diet sodas and make sure they're diet because I'm watching my weight right now. Okay, sir. Will there be anything else? Uh, yeah. I also want the truther combo and make that supersize. Extra truth on it. Last time I didn't receive all of the answers that I was looking for. And I was promised all the answers. I paid my money and I expect the answers to be given with the truther combo. A clown's work is never done. I don't have time to look up any of this myself. So, that's why I come here. If there's going to be a problem with that, then I'm going to have to speak to your manager. Oh, yes, sir. That won't be a problem at all. Your total comes to $66.06. Please drive up to the window. Expectation is the order of every day. It is the rule and not the exception. Expectation to be handed everything, to have others wait on them hand and foot to not have to do a damn thing and just have this ultimate expectation that one should be treated like a king or a queen just because they exist look i'm here bow down before me you peasants can't you see that i have arrived look at me i am Amazing. I am freaking awesome. That is enough. Now worship me and get busy serving every last request that I make. Expectation has run rampant. It is the rule. Absolutely. It's ridiculous. And it's no different when it comes to that which is called the seeking of truth. There are far, far too many that have treated it as a joke. Taking this aspect, which is called truth, which is sacred, and just treating it like a shit show, like a clown show. The moment that people started turning seeking of truth into a career, well, that's when it became a circus right then and there. It was no longer about the truth whatsoever. It was about commerce. It was about business. It was about industry. The truth or industry. Of course, that's exactly what it is. It's no different than the example that was given right at the beginning of this message. Drive through truth. Drive through truthers. Just pay your bit of money and... All of the answers will just be handed to you. You don't have to do a damn thing. No inner work necessary. Nothing at all. Just buy my little product. Buy my t-shirt. Buy my book. Whatever the hell. One doesn't have to do a damn thing whatsoever. And the expectation has run rampant in this regard to in this area. If anyone is selling selling anything they cannot absolutely cannot say that they treat the truth as sacred that has passed them by they have failed the vision test big time it would have been better absolutely better if they had just gotten a job anywheres anywheres else and then worked on seeking the truth in their so-called free time. 
and just brought forth that information to the public with their free time, however they could, in whatever way that they could. But no, that wasn't enough. It needs to be turned into a career. There's no possibility that one can do both. No way. So I'm going to take the truth and make it my full-time job. There was one person that commented, I noticed, and it's very accurate what they said. Don't be a slave to the system. Well, except for all of you, you go out there and you be a slave and you make your money so that you can support me by buying my truther stuff, my truther shit. All the wares that I'm selling. Buy my next book, buy my next necklace or whatever the hell. Just a bunch of garbage. Just plastic Chinese factory made shit most of the time too. All of it leading to dead ends. Nothing is freeing anyone whatsoever. Just another version of the drive-through truther paradigm that so many are hopping on board thinking that they can get a piece of that pie even if it's a crumb. Yeah, this Satanist YouTube, of course, it wants to toss me under that bus. Oh, look, there's, there's advertisements on his videos. Yeah, that's the Satanist doing that. I had nothing to do with that. There are websites where it can be verified that this channel is not monetized if anyone cares to do so. That's always been available. And it's easily checked out. This channel has never been monetized. Not once, not ever. I will never ask for anything. I, we, I will reiterate that. Ever. The truth is sacred. As soon as one starts begging, then it no longer is sacred. Begging for money. Money is not associated with the truth whatsoever. It taints it. It's the wrong vision. The association alone creates the wrong vision within it. As I said, it would have been better for anyone calling themselves a true seeker to just have gotten a regular job. Just to make ends meet and continue their existence. Absolutely. Leave the truth aside. Don't let it be touched by the wrong ideas. How few, how few have done that. Instead, just turning it into another corporation. Yeah, look at these truth empires. I've said it before. Especially the most famous of these truthers. Their studios that they have. My goodness. How much funding would it take to build one of those studios? Oh, of course. Yeah, you can't get the same truth without a studio like that. No, it's necessary. That's what the truth is. It's about big business. Big money. You can't get the truth that would set people free out any other way. No, that's impossible. It's... It's this or nothing. What a shit show. Just taking the sacred and just taking a dump all over it. What a fucking joke. Every damn last one of these so-called truthers doing that. You're all a joke. Every last one of you. And there will be a moment that you hear this. So let this message be heard loud and clear. Loud and clear. And so many of these ones that are the most famous, just getting together, it be, it's become a, another club. And they're all just jacking each other off. No, you're the greatest truth. Or no, no, you are. Well, okay, but I think you are. Just constantly jacking each other off. Congratulations. Good job, clowns. Oh, but 
Don't worry, just keep projecting and call everyone else that. Absolutely. Never look in the mirror. Never even talk about looking in the mirror. And how incorrect one's own vision is. And if any want to project on this heart, it's already been stated. And I will reiterate it again. Every day is a battle. Absolutely, for this heart included, to correct the vision. A hundred percent. There's no pedestal for this heart whatsoever. But tough things need to be said, especially in the most difficult times to come, especially. It's going to get very, very real. Many, you're going to shit your pants. Let's put it that way. You're going to shit your pants. That's how real it's going to get. You're going to actually be shaking. Your knees are going to be buckling. My goodness. But go ahead and keep getting wasted on the weekends. Watching your stupid idiotic programs and listening to your fast food truthers selling their bullshit. For frick's sakes. Not taking it truly seriously. Just believing in the paradigms that already exist with only a few minor adjustments. Who's getting to the root? The real root. So few. Absolutely so few. It's just, it's disturbing practically. It is. And saddening. It's very sad. Especially at this late moment. And the moment is very, very late. Though I know there's a few real out there. I know that. And again, I'm only speaking to you. So many artificials on here. You have outed yourself. And absolutely, I'm going to keep talking about you right to the last second. And you artificials, you point yourself out by saying things like, Stop focusing on them. They've gotten enough time. You are an artificial, obviously. It's time to focus on you exclusively. The whole problem has been about being sold a deceptive idea. The, the totality of the incorrect vision was a deception. The ultimate deceiver, hell's master. And all of you minions, you're just a small, tiny, tidbit reflection of your master. So, the focus is not going to be on you and the whole problem? Absolutely it is. The entirety of the focus is on the problem. And that includes all of you minion abusers. Completely. And so many backhanded compliments. To the real, notice how they play both sides of the equation. They'll get busy complimenting and complimenting and complimenting. And then, the very next day, they'll get busy insulting. In a backhanded way. Or just straight up mocking. One needs to be discerning and pay attention and notice that as well. So I have no interest in what anyone thinks whatsoever I'm not needing any of these bullshit compliments and these backhanded compliments filled with insults filled with mockery and another thing too that I've noticed people have said or there was one person that said that they saw a video where I showed my face no such thing happened no such thing whatsoever I will never show my face online, but it is time, it is time for the total revelation, and there will be no more hiding behind screens. So I won't be hiding behind a screen. It's going to get very, very real, very in everyone's face. 
So in the future, in the near future, if anyone sees any type of representation or someone touting that they represent this heart, me, this voice, on any other channel, that's a complete fallacy. That's a complete lie. No such thing has ever been done. No such thing will ever be done. Not ever. There is the content that has been on this channel and this channel alone. It has been noticed that someone did take it upon themselves to create a backup channel again for these particular messages and for all of the works. And so that's what I had already called upon if anyone wanted to do that. So someone has done that. I have no idea who that is. They're deciding to remain anonymous and that's fine. So if anyone else wants to do the same thing, absolutely feel free. But it has to be just the works that have been presented and the messages that have been presented on here and on here alone. Nothing else off of this channel is of this heart speaking right now. Nothing. Not ever. Anything else will just be a deception, a lie, completely. So I've already noticed that. And it's just ridiculous. It's just part of the whole aspect of trying to set me up in so many different ways. Just so many tactics. Cancer tries so many things, especially at the moment and in these moments to come where it knows its time is completely up. That's what this is about, obviously. It has been stated already in so many different ways. But what's going to matter is when it all starts to unfold legitimately. It's no longer going to be a voice anywhere on the internet, the radio, wherever, just talking about all of these things to come. The talk really at the end of the day is irrelevant. It is going to be the actions that matter. It is going to be the undeniable that everyone is going to have to face that matters. That's what this message and all of these messages have been about. To prepare, to prepare the real for this inevitability, for this threshold and the ultimate choice that is to come. Or would one rather listen to some more entertaining drive through fast food truth or bullshit just to fill a void fill some time think that you're getting somewhere because the info seems to be fulfilling in some sense no different than drinking alcohol or smoking weed or doing drugs or having sex or whatever all these escapes just tons of escapes in this hellhole. All just trying to funnel one into the darkness and keep you there. That's the entire point. And to the real hearts, you don't believe that this system would do everything, everything to keep you in the dark. Absolutely, it has and will continue to do so. It doesn't care about you making the wrong choice because it wants you to make the incorrect choice. That's been the whole setup from the beginning. And it will continue throwing its whole bag of tricks until the very last second where it's too late. Where it's too late for you as a real heart, a real individual to do anything about it. Again, to the fortunate few who have reached these messages. It's not egotistical. Be grateful that you've been given a sight line for what's to come. There's no egotism in saying that. It's what is. It's in the air. 
It can be cut, it's so dense, the fact of it. And anyone who has been sitting in silence, going within themselves, all the way down to the heart, knows this. And one with their eye of the spirit wide open can see it. It is being asked, who is ready? Who is ready to see it? In essence, no one is going to be ready. It's just too enormous. How does anyone prepare really, totally, for the greatest and biggest thing to come in history? It just can't be done. But of course, this ties into the extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence lesson. So this is all, again, just in my belief. Until it's not. Until it's just evident. Not just self-evident, but evident. So, to those who are taking it serious because you feel it for yourselves... You do. You know it's undeniable. And now being in the beginnings of summer, where it's so easy to forget all of these serious things, who is still remaining sober at this moment and not just trying to escape it all? Who is preparing within for immensities? And who is paying attention to the drive through truthers who obviously believe there's all kinds of future left? Absolutely, no one would be building big studios, fancy studios, if they didn't think that, if they didn't believe it. So there's the indication right there. Just look at the actions. Listen carefully and listen honestly. Always listen carefully and always listen honestly. Because then one is honest with themselves. <laughs>